What's up guys, it's your boy Anime Boom and I am back with another Smackdown review and this episode of Smackdown is really a filler episode so it's not, I really wasn't keeping like in touch with it, I really wasn't watching it but I watched the beginning of it and I watched the end of it basically but first of all Smackdown has to work on themselves and one thing I'm getting mad Smackdown's doing, have Cody Rhodes on the show bro, he should be main eventing every week, I don't care, he should be main eventing every single week, he's the guy and this is making me feel like he's not the guy. The way they are presenting Cody Rhodes on SmackDown is just not working. But the show starts off with Cody Rhodes and Solo Sokoa. And Solo Sokoa wants to face Cody Rhodes for the title. And the one cool moment from this promo is when Cody Rhodes basically says he wants to fight Jacob Fatu instead of Solo Sokoa. But you know, Jacob says he wants Solo to fight Cody. So Cody's like, okay, uh, Solo, you're my opponent and we're going to do it next week. We're gonna do it next week, and then the bloodline comes out about to attack Cody Rhodes. Then get the Street Profits, Tommaso Ciampa, and Johnny Gargano. They end up helping Cody Rhodes, and then um, you get the general manager. I always forget his name, but he comes out and tells Solo and Cody that the match y'all have on the U.S. premiere of SmackDown next week will be in a steel cage. So I'm very excited. Next week, we're going to do a um, full review on SmackDown. This is just more of a chill week of SmackDown. And I, SmackDown's been just really chill recently. It's been really quiet and really bad. I won't lie to you. So, they got to work on Cody Rhodes. They have to work on everything. And next week, we're going to be here to talk about SmackDown. But, uh, yep. And then I watched the main, some of the main event also. And the Bloodline ended up beating Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, well, I could just say DIY and uh, the, the Street Profits, they beat them easily. And Jacob Fatu is such a beast, man. He's so good. He's probably my favorite bloodline member besides Jay Uso and Roman Reigns. Maybe even over Roman Reigns. I really like Jacob Fatu. But tell me how y'all feel about this week's episode of SmackDown. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Anime Boom, my peace.